you know, I think I've showcased it everywhere I've been, you know, just my leadership, uh, you know, my versatility, you know, being able to play the one, two, three, guard the one, two, three, um, you know, and come in the locker room, you know, really command everybody, you know, even though I'm a rookie, um, you know, I think everybody will gravitate, you know, towards my energy, towards my vibe and towards my work ethic. Um, so bringing that to the city of Orlando, you know, with good people there already that I know, um, I can't wait to get there. Okay, we're going to go to Zoom for two questions. Mr. Suggs, Alex Fleming, Florida Sun. Congratulations on being selected number five, sir. Thank you. All right, now they selected Cole Anthony last year. He averaged 12.9 points per game. Um, there's a lot of guards already on this team. What Orlando doesn't have is a lot of stars. Then there's you, 2019 Mr. Football, 2020 Mr. Basketball. Do you know the expectations that are on you considering that you're now going to a team who's desperate for a franchise star player? Um, you know, I don't know the expectations I set on myself, you know, and those are always the highest. Um, so going in there and, you know, achieving, you know, what I set out for myself. And I know that if I do that, it'll meet their standards as well. So I'm um, super excited going to work, you know, with a great group of guards and Cole and RJ, uh, great people. Um, so just so excited, man. I can't wait to get there with the group. Hi, Jalen. Shara Taylor, New York Beacon. Um, what do you plan to do with the new team? How do you plan to make a difference? Whatever is asked and whatever is needed, you know, whether that's a guard and score, whether that's to come out and facilitate if somebody else is having a hot night uh, or to shut down, you know, a star player on the team. Um, you know, I feel like my versatility that I'm going to bring in, you know, will allow us to do a lot of different things, you know, as a team and, and succeed. Because uh, at the end of the day, I just want to win. You know, I want to win for myself, uh, for the city, for the franchise, and for everybody else on the team. Hello, this is Byron from Old Sports Talk. How you doing? Congratulations on getting selected. Doing great, thank you. Good, good. Um, you're going to Orlando and you have a um, new head coach in Jamal Mosley. And you being a, a rookie and also having a rookie head coach, um, how do you feel about getting ready to um, pretty much be a young guy on the team? And what are your expectations on knowing that you have a rookie head coach coming in? Um, just ready to work together, honestly. You know, knowing that we're both new, uh, new to what we're doing, uh, new to the league and, and our positions. Um, you know, excited to work together, uh, excited to see what we can create together. And, uh, you know, knowing that, you know, coming in as a guard, you know, and trying to be as a, and a leader, uh, trying to be an extension of him in the locker room, on the court, uh, you know, to make things, uh, you know, as easy and helpful uh, for him as possible in his transition. Jalen, Andres Lopez for Cultura Sports. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. What is your long-term goal for your NBA basketball career? What is that one thing that you want to achieve and then look back on and say, I really did that? A champion, you know, and, and a contributing a contributing role on a championship team. That's it for me. Uh, that's the peak of the mountaintop. You know, being able to, to have a parade with the city, everyone on the team, you know, celebrate together. Uh, man, that thinking of that just brings me happiness uh, and gets me excited. So, I mean, for me, that's the peak of the mountaintop. Congrats, man. Welcome to the league. Thank you. Hey, Jalen, Walt, Walt Chisholm here, BFB uh, show in Dallas. Quick question. Uh, on the broadcast, they were saying that uh, you need to work on your three-point shot, and I found that funny for a guy with a big shot in college like you did. What do you feel you need to work on uh, yourself? Um, you know, I don't think I have a real weakness. You know, I think I'm really good at everything, uh, you know, and I think now it just comes down to perfecting everything, you know, and getting to an elite level at those at those key things. Um so, I mean, just excited to grow, get better, you know, in this pre-draft process already, you know, I've gotten more consistent with jumps I handle, you know, and this is the best I've ever felt hooping. So uh, just excited to continue working. And I mean, the sky's the limit for me, I believe. And, uh, you know, I know I can get there. Look forward to seeing another big shot from you. Yes, sir, thank you. Hi, right, Jalen, uh, congratulations on getting drafted. I know today is only the day one of your NBA career, but what legacy do you want to leave behind when your career is all said and done? Again, a winner, 
you know, somebody who did everything for their team, you know, gave everything every time I stepped out on the floor. Um, you know, if you say that about me, uh, you know, that's it for me, you know, and going along with that, you know, it's playing well, of course, but, you know, per personal accolades have never really been, uh, you know, been the striving or driving factor for me. You know, it's all been winning, you know, I'm a competitor and that's what I love to do. So, uh, you know, a champion, you know, and playing at the highest level. Congratulations, well-deserved. Thank you. Hey, Jalen. It's, uh, it's Scottish Humber from Sports Realm. Um, you're coming from Gonzaga, where you almost went undefeated, and you're coming into a situation that is uh, more on the rebuild side of, side of things. How do you plan on handling that uh, your first season? With open arms and enthusiasm yeah. and energy. Um, mm -hmm. Again, bringing in my, you know, the vibes that I bring, the leadership that yeah. I bring, you know, and my work ethic and potential. Um, you know, I'm looking to bring that into the whole team, you know, elevate everybody, you know, they'll make me better and help me learn. Um, so really just excited. Awesome. Bring in the energy. I love it. Hi, Jalen. Brenna Green from 2 News. Um, just how, how did it feel walking up there tonight representing Gonzaga on that stage? Amazing. Um, you know, I love my, all my time at Gonzaga. You know, I'm thankful for everybody, you know, who is a part of that, you know, staff, fans, uh, and everybody on the team. Um, man. You know, knowing that uh, I made that transition from Gonzaga and they helped me grow as a player and as a person, I couldn't be more thankful. So uh, it was great to represent them walking across the stage. Hey, Jalen, Jace Frederick here at the St. Paul Pioneer Press. Uh, pretty big day in St. Paul sports. I was, guess I'm wondering, uh, what was your reaction when you saw or heard that SUNY Lee won the all around? And then I guess, how cool is it that two kids from St. Paul achieved such great things on one day? Oh, I texted her immediately, you know, and I sent her the videos because uh, I was tuned in. Uh, what a great accomplishment for her. You know, I'm so proud of her. You know, me, me and Sunny are great friends. So uh, to see her do that, you know, and then now I get to come out and do this. Uh, it's amazing, you know, and, and Minnesota sports and, and athletics is on the rise. And, you know, just two great examples in one day. Thanks, Jalen. Jalen, this is uh, Marcus uh, Fuller with Star Tribune. Congratulations. You know, talk about uh, just being picked as high as you are. Um, if you look back in the history of Minnesota sports, uh, it's been a long time. Kevin McHale uh, being picked in 1980. So what do you think this means for um, the kids uh, growing up now watching you play? Just showing them that it's possible, you know, so uh, through the hard work, through the dedication, uh, through the faithfulness, you know, to perfect their craft, you know, that you can get here at the highest level, uh, you know, and I'm a perfect example of it, you know, coming from, you know, not much and, uh, you know, just a hard working, dedicated family, uh, you know, to this point, uh, it's amazing. So I'm just hoping that every kid back home sees it, uh, recognizes that it's possible, uh, you know, and goes and works for it if that's what they want. Okay, thank you, Jalen.